It's called a female cop that gets caught seducing inmates. Interesting. Darlene O'Banion, a prison officer being accused of sleeping with an inmate. You felt me. I was like soaking through my clothes. After hearing rumors from other officers that had seen her and Jason Parker together, an investigation was opened up. Charlene thinks she flew under the radar and got away, but what she doesn't know is that the detectives have all the evidence they need, and they're about to expose and embarrass her in the most brutal way possible. You got a lot of that head game. <laughs> Oh my God. Right from the start, Charlene plays Jesus. innocent and pretends she doesn't know anything about the allegations. We're notified yeah. of a possible Holy. improper relationship between you and uh, Jacob Parker. So we're here for that. I just kind of wanted to talk to you about it and get your side of that story. I don't know anything about it. Okay. Have you talked to him on any jail phone calls or anything like that? Uh, no. None at all? Mm -hmm. Charlene is sure that this will work, but the detectives have much more evidence than they're letting on. And where would you think that this allegation would come from if there's nothing to it? Um, well, nice I have a feeling this was I'm coming. Listening. So there was an inmate um, named Coker, Justin Coker. Okay. He got out of here for, I don't know what period of time, and he tried to contact me on Facebook. He sent me a message and I blocked him on Facebook. Right. And um, I guess one time Parker was going back to Equa to use the bathroom so, and he was talking like at the window with me. Mm -hmm. And I guess Coker like didn't like that, which I had no contact with him or anything. And um, Parker had told me that he had gone up to him and was like, don't talk to her or something crazy like that. So uh, I'm just not trying to be rude here. I'm just, yeah. why would you expect this conversation to come up from that? Like now, if that happened a few months ago. Charlene claims that the only time she's had contact with Jason was a single time outside the jail bathroom. And it was a jealous inmate that started the rumor. Oh, so the detective is about to share some evidence that instantly proves that Charlene is hiding yeah, something. Sorry, I, to... I don't know exactly where, how it started, like who it started from. Um, <laughs> but I was told that it was brought to somebody's attention and then we looked at jail calls. And there's jail calls between you and Parker. And all that stuff's recorded. So I don't think you're being completely truthful. Well, I, I kind of know that you're not. And I'm not trying to be rude. Not, I'm, really yeah, no. um, I'm just kind of trying to lay it out on the table for you. Mm -hmm. So can you kind of tell me what's going on? Um, I guess a few years ago, we we talked, and then I ended up here, and then he ended up here. I didn't know he was here. I didn't like. It wasn't anything like that. Um, Apparently, Charlene and Jason knew each other before prison and messed around before they both ended up here. This led to them joking around with each other here, but nothing else. Or at least, that's what she claims. What, what the In reality, thing? the cops have recorded Holy phone fire. calls from inside the prison that tell a completely different story. So what about some of these phone conversations? Um, no, no, not here or the phone. I thought no, I just mean conversations y'all are having on the phone. No, no. Since he's been in here. Like, like sexual? Well, not. I'm not saying having phone sex. Talking about sexual acts. I mean, she's not bad looking. My, uh, from what I'm listening to, calls, all I take it is that you've given him oral sex at some point. Is what no, I gather no, from no, these calls. No, no, no. no, that was like in the world, but we never like we never dated. We just. Okay. What kind of conversations have you had with him since? You started working here, and he's been in the jail. Uh, Chef's looking Brian dead. Talking about what would happen after he got out. And then the jail call recordings. Have you been talking to him like while you're at home? That must like he calls you from the jail while you're at home, or mm -hmm. okay. Just 15 minutes into this interrogation, looking, Charlene's original story is seeming less and less no. like the truth. She's been Hello. caught in multiple lies, admitted to having sexual relations with Jason in the past, and calling him regularly from her own home. This is highly irregular behavior for a prison officer, and it doesn't take a genius to realize something deeper may be going on. But the detective has some more questions pertaining to some more physical evidence. I don't Listen to this, but this apparently there dumb. may be some talk in the calls about like photographs. Have you given him any photographs? Mm -mm. I gave him a photograph of his mom, which he had asked for, and of his dog, Jax. Okay. Yeah. Have you given him any photographs of you? Mm -mm. No, because 
So one of the things we're going to be doing is like looking at cameras and stuff too. Has there been any times where y'all were alone? Mm -hmm. you got yeah, a camera they, they set like that, that, that it's going to look daughter. suspicious that way. Because they got the recording. It's important to remember that Charlene has worked at this prison for a while now, and as such, will know all the ins and outs of everything, such as security camera blind spots and patrol officer schedules. You'd think that with all this knowledge, it'd be easy to hide a relationship with an inmate. But it seems that she forgot about a few vital pieces of information. Not least the facts that all phone calls placed from the prison are recorded. But thanks to the detectives, she's about to be reminded of this fact in a <laughs> devastating way. Hey, baby. Get that. Baby, guess what? Nothing. I just won the blackjack game. <laughs> Yay. I just want thirty dollars. I got a lot of stuff to clean and get rid of before you come home. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just fucking with you. I was trying to make you think I have all these secrets. Huh? Yeah, I bet you do. What? 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 What do you mean? I don't know. You probably got this weird sex swing hanging from the ceiling. Kenneth probably thinks it's a swing set. Oh, if I had that sex swing, you better believe I'd leave that sucker up for you. Would you really? Hell yeah. You'd let me put you in it? Yeah. With a gag bar and everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Listening to your own voice can be bad enough for some people, but listening to your own sexual phone calls in silence with two detectives in the room as you realize you've yeah, just little, been caught red-handed has got to be worse. It's a little odd, but I feel like like her like sex talk thing is pretty bad too though. Like, well, I mean, we can speak about the game itself, right? Like, in context, right? Than like, any she doesn't really play along that well, you know, it's kind of boring. However, with the language they've used so far, there's no evidence that the pair have actually engaged in any sexual acts. But that changes quickly as Jason begins to directly incriminate Charlene on the call. I was supposed to look at me sometimes be like, damn, my woman's fine. Fine is fine. And you got a, a live ass fucking head game. Oh my god. <laughs> eh, it wasn't my best moments. I was just trying to get it done. Meh, meh. Are you in bed? Don't even get me thinking about that because it makes me so horny. Like just going back and thinking about yeah. that. I guess you're horny? Oh yeah. When you felt me, I was like soaking through my clothes get very horny very easy i always want to have not sex good. like that's not even not good i mean it's not like i just like look at someone i'm like oh my god i'm so fucking horny no like of course like bro bro I get horny for you this video skips to a bunch of context and things whatever but it's time it's time to fucking get the juice on this guy's playing the whole recording and dude every word what? phrase the whole thing dude how that sounds from like my point of view more, like a more recent thing than three years ago no. The audacity <laughs> she has to say no after hearing that phone call <laughs> is smart. truly remarkable. But to her credit, she's not going down <sighs> easily. The detectives try asking her if she thinks Jason would cover for her, and she still doesn't break, sticking to her story that everything that happened happened outside of prison. Technically, this story could still be true with this phone call, but it definitely is odd for the couple to be recounting events from over three years ago in such detail, especially when earlier she struggled to remember any details about their relationship. No, not true, not true. Talk about how perfect. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say not true. I'm gonna, some things are kind of remarkable in certain ways, and you remember, like, to the detail way back, way back after. Um, it, it's it is, like, like, just giving him this blowjob was, but you, like, don't remember anything about anything about it. It's like a telling me something but you're having trouble coming up with details but you know what I mean like if it's that profound I mean I gave him a blowjob how, how do you describe the blowjob I mean is that well what I don't want to know like about the blowjob I'm just yeah. so if this is a factual said, I, thing that happened three years ago I feel like you would kind of remember some stuff about it like I yeah feel like, I mean like we sat in a car we you know like when I asked you who was there him of course like when y'all met or whatever and then when I asked like who else you said it was like a bunch of friends yeah. But like you can remember one I mean, kid's name after you Chris. think about it for 30 seconds. So yeah, I mean, that's I was... not making sense to me. You seem to have blanks in your memory when we get to certain details. 
but you remember being groped in the blowjob from three years ago. It didn't make sense. Believe. This guy's being dumb. Okay. Bad luck. This is one chance to be honest with us. Yes. Once we get up and walk out and we're done, mm-hmm. we're done. Well, have y'all had any inappropriate contact, whether it's groping, blowjobs, vaginal, anal sex, anything, hand jobs? Huh. Yes, I am being vulgar to get a point across. Yeah, no, it's not. None of that. Just as the detectives say, things really aren't adding up. Yet she's still sticking to her story, or at least she was, before a switch flipped and she said this. I mean, what is it? Uh, I just would work on that. In that part of the quad? Okay. How long ago was that? Uh, the secret's out, and Charlene has confessed. But this matter is more complex than it may seem. In cases of officer-inmate relations, the main question that arises is the issue of consent. Given that Jason and Charlene knew each other prior to being in prison, it's not wrong to assume that consent went both ways in this interaction. However, in these cases, that's actually completely irrelevant. Uh. According to a 2005 report, federal law criminalizes all sexual relations and contact between prison staff and that inmates. That makes sense, actually, yeah. And that all sexual relations between staff and inmates are considered abuse, even if the no, act would sense. have been considered consensual if it occurred outside of a prison. This is because of the huge amount of inmates. Uh, chat is a massive power dynamic. I mean, think, guys, if you think about it, chat. Imagine the power dynamic. Somebody's quite literally jailed and they're confined, right? And you're like a, 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 a somebody who, who can, like it's just-, just Abuse oh, that was observed spot. in prisons. In 1996, it was estimated that between 12 and 14% of all prison inmates had been sexually assaulted and the officers were rarely punished. So to prevent this, a zero tolerance policy was introduced to try and prevent abuse towards inmates. A policy, it seems, that Charlene completely ignored. I'm not gonna ask, but I feel like I know the answer. I'm losing my job. Mm. So that's that's not really up to me. Um, internal Affairs is aware. Investigation is separate from ours because mm-hmm. there's it's, it's two totally different um, things. So yeah. What kind of charges? Like so, it's it's illegal to have sexual contact with an inmate as an employee. So, um, I said the ball kind of be in their court, but I'll let you know as soon as I hear something. Um, yeah, they're gonna stop positions. Can I go to jail? That's up to the DA's office. As it turns out, Charlene would lose her job, and the only time she'd ever be allowed back in jail would be for the 100 days that she'd be made to serve after being found guilty of sexual activity with a person in custody. Jesus Christ, actually swapped it. A wife swapped it. Insane. That was actually a good video. Um, Billy Dawes, I uh, go watch it, sure. Yo, this is X, X on yeah. the beat, yo. Okay. Well, my voice as well. Anyone knows that boy? I don't know, he's just so soy. Anyone knows that boy? I don't know, he's just so soy.